I came to La Crosse when I was 17 to go to school. And uh, when I was confirmed in the church where I was as a child, I, uh, we went to Sparta and visited all the churches there. And at the time, my minister said to me, I think we're going to lose Ruby to the Congregationalists. And so, when I came to La Crosse and was here on the weekends, I would go to the Congregational Church. And that's when it was down on 7th and Main. The reason we joined this church is because we went to we went to church on Sunday. We was very impressed, and because of all the, all the fellowship of the church, and so we joined. At that time, it was Reverend Frank that was the pastor. It was we've been members ever since. Reverend Frank was a very humble man. Uh, we really enjoyed him. He married us, he baptized us, baptized uh, our boys as babies, and he was just a very humble man. The date was December 20th of 1953, and I was just born on November 7th. So I think my parents had already, or my mother at least, was joining the church church shortly thereafter. And, um, and we've been here ever since. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we went all through Sunday school and confirmation, and then we, my husband and I, well, we got married here. And our kids, our two sons, they went to confirmation and all through Sunday school. I remember vacation Sunday school in the summer. Oh, yeah. We just couldn't wait because we would have so much fun. Run so, all over the church. We'd yeah. be down there looking for the orange boxes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and so I just always felt the church was there for us in good times and sad times. I came to La Crosse in 1974 uh, after graduating med school for uh, training at Gunderson Clinic. Uh, I started attending the church at that point. Uh, in 1976, uh, I then was hired permanently, so that's when I became a member. And this church fit in with what I expected a progressive, open church was about. What did progressive and open look like in the 70s? Women were accepted. That's always been a big thing of mine. And in the 80s, um, when my uh, brother uh, came out to his family as gay, uh, that became extremely important as well. <laughs> 